Kính thưa ông bà anh chị em, Today is the last Sunday of Advent. The coming of our Lord is nearly upon us. How has each one of us been preparing for Christmas? Have we been focused on our shopping list for gifts, making sure every item on the list is checked off? Perhaps we have been focused on all the decorations for Christmas, from the decorations of the Christmas tree to the decorated lights around our home. Yes, these preparations for Christmas are good, but these are exterior preparations. The real preparation for Christmas is preparing our heart for the true meaning of Christmas. God has loved us so much that he became one of us so that he can save us from sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life from the Gospel of John. That's the love of God for us, to send his only begotten Son to save us. That is a great mystery of God becoming man, the Incarnation. God chose to be incarnated through our Blessed Virgin Mary. It was through Mary's yes and cooperation that God was able to carry out his chosen plan of salvation for us. God chose a holy and humble woman to cooperate with him to carry out his plan of salvation for us. That's the second great mystery of Christmas. Likewise, God is inviting us to cooperate with him for our salvation. There's still some time left in Advent for us to reflect on the great mystery of Christmas. What does the incarnation of Christ mean for each of us? How can we cooperate with Christ for our salvation? Let us spend some quiet time with Jesus to pray and to meditate on his incarnation and God's saving plan for us. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to welcome Christ Jesus into our hearts, let us ask Jesus to help us to know him more, to love him more, to serve him, so that we can have eternal life with him.